Well, back here, tenants in a downtown Hamilton neighborhood are demanding that something be done about their living conditions. Two Wentworth Street houses, which are made up of nine apartments, are unsafe and need serious repairs. And renters say their landlord refuses to do anything about it. Britt Dixon has more. And I can no longer sleep in my apartment as the mold has just gotten to me. Sean is sleeping in this tent in his backyard because he says the mold in his apartment is making him sick. I, I feel really ill from it. My bathroom's just covered in complete black mold. And that's not all. Windows are broken. There's water damage from flooding. The floors are coming up from the water damage. Paint cans are piled up in the basement next to the electrical panels. Light fixtures don't work. Baseboard heaters are damaged. There's bed bugs and mice infestations. And things are falling apart. Nobody should have to live like this. These tenants are living in these deplorable conditions because they have nowhere else to go. Rent is cheap for them and affordable to them, so they choose not to move because they don't want to pay expensive uh, rents that they can't afford. There are nine units in these two homes on Wentworth Street South. Mike Wood from the group Hamilton Acorn that helps low-income tenants living in unacceptable conditions has stepped in and says it's time for landlords to step up. Landlords should be keeping up with their end of the bargain, which is doing the repairs like they're supposed to. My whole house has been flooded out three times since I've lived here in two years. Nothing's really been done about it. Many of these tenants aren't complaining because they're scared of being kicked out. They threaten with false evictions. Wood says this is a growing problem in the city and something needs to be done. He's renewing calls for a rental housing licensing system in Hamilton, including annual inspections, to protect tenants living in unsafe and unhealthy conditions like these. Well, I called the landlord today to ask him about these units and to see if he's going to do anything about these complaints, but he didn't return our calls. Back to you.